Why are you allowing this interview to be published? Two reasons. One, there's a lot of so-called gurus talking BS about making money online out there. I'll expose one dirty little secret. Knowing this trick will help you sort the BSers from the non-BSers immediately. And the second reason? There's one online making money strategy that works nicely if you do it as a hobby and not full time. It doesn't make enough money for those doing it full time. Thus, full time marketers won't be in your way. They're doing other things. How much money can you make? It's for anyone who wants to make up to $1,000 per week with only a few hours of work per week. Why is it not for full time professionals? It's simply too small of a market for full time professionals. We're a team of four full-time professionals. Profits of up to $1,000 per week wouldn't cover our expenses. So are you saying you don't care about $1,000? No, that's not what I'm saying. It's good money, but we need to focus our energy. We spend our time on different platforms, such as Google Search and Display, DoubleClick, AdSonar, or SiteScout. By the way, why do you want to stay anonymous? In the online money-making world, it's hard to stay under the radar once you've reached a certain size. So, what's the problem if people know you? People talk and they copy your ideas. You need to stay under the radar. Frank Kern is very well known in the market. And he made millions in online marketing. Exactly. He made. Past tense. Nowadays, he's doing consulting. Ever heard of Mike Colella? Nope. You see, I believe he's way bigger than Frank Kern, but hardly anyone has heard of him. Let's get back to that a little bit later. So what's this dirty little guru secret you mentioned at the beginning? I'm sure anyone interested in making money online has seen it. The so-called guru sits at his computer and shows you his ClickBank account. You see that he makes over $1,000 per day. Then he tells you that his method is super simple. The damn thieves. Please elaborate. What those thieves don't tell you is that they're running ads for this product, but they only show you their ClickBank account where they made $1,000 a day. They don't show you that they spend $1,000 a day on ads in order to make $1,000. It's outrageous. They just want to sell you their method of making money. It's almost criminal. Well, if this video expose helps people not fall for this trick, we've achieved a lot. Okay, let's explore a bit of the strategy you mentioned. It's perfect for a part-time job because the strategy doesn't require much money, no website, no product, no customer support, no SEO, and no ad writing. Go on. It's called PPV strategy. PPV stands for pay-per-view. Simply, you pick a product you want to promote and run it on one of the PPV platforms. For this, you only need a few hundred dollars, which goes into running advertising. You make it sound very simple. Well, depending on your willingness to learn it, it takes you a few hours to get started. I suggest you start with $25 in advertising per day. You only spend money on advertising as there are no other costs involved. You don't pay money to be able to promote a product, nor do you pay money to open an account on one of the PPV platforms. Thus, all the money you spend is on marketing the product. And the personal time you invest. Well, yes, of course, but this is nothing compared to mastering Google AdWords. Oh, yeah. It took me literally years. Yeah, me too. What are the tricky parts about PPV strategy? You need to understand how to pick a product to promote. The famous Truth About Ads ebook still makes money, but there are a ton more products to promote. Really? Truth About Ads was huge years ago. Does it still make money as a promotional item? Well, I was told that people still make money selling it, but the returns are much lower nowadays. I've heard that it produces only a low double-digit ROI. For the viewers, ROI stands for return on investment. Yes. Let's say ROI is at uh, 30%. That means if you spend $500 in advertising, you get back $650. Any other things to watch out regarding the PPV strategy? Yes. Be extremely careful from which platform you choose the product you want to promote. For example, ClickBank is one of the top 10 platforms. 95% of the ClickBank products are crap. Thus, many people avoiding uh, promoting ClickBank products. That's a huge mistake. Why? Well, the more experience you have, the more you appreciate ClickBank. But you need to know what to look for. Another platform, I'm not going to call them by name except that they're based in Florida, uh, is that they all of a sudden didn't pay you for certain products anymore. That would never happen with ClickBank. One more PPV strategy trick, please. 
Once you make $1,000 per week with the PPV strategy, you need to make an important decision. Let me give you a numeric example. This week, you spend $1,000 on PPV advertising. At the same time, your ClickBank account shows a $2,000 profit. Thus, you made $1,000. What do you think most people would do? I would spend more money on advertising so I could make more money. That's correct, but it's a mistake if you're not careful. Why? Because you draw attention. People talk, people spy, you become too big, people will start copying your strategies, and your profits will go down. So what do you recommend? There are two options. One is that you might become a professional marketer. Maybe you create your own website and promote it through big platforms such as Google. That's what you and I do. So what do you recommend for somebody who wants to keep running the PPV strategy as a part-time job, but wants to make more than $1,000 per week? You need to open new accounts under different names. You need to go to friends who can open you an account. Of course, you don't have to change your ClickBank account. Just create more accounts where you do advertising. For example, Traffic Vance is the biggest PPV platform. You just need more accounts there in order to stay under the radar of copycats. I'm starting to understand why you want to stay anonymous. 